Good evening, Louise. Where are we tonight? But where are we? So we've just had a day at Fort Park, and I'm sure the vlog will be up by now. And we're now going to check in to the cabins at Short Park. Short Park. Thorpe Park. We're here for just one night. Have a walk down. So check-ins from three o'clock in the afternoon. It's now half past six. There's a shark. It's now half past six because we've done a full day in the park. Look at the theming. Theming, theming, theming. And I believe inside there, there's loads of memorabilia as well. Now, I'm not even sure whether Lewis remembers, but last year when we came here, we did have a little quick walk inside here, but we didn't stay. I wasn't too impressed, but um, we're flying out from London tomorrow, or two days, yeah, tomorrow night. Not tomorrow night. not coming, did you? Yeah, Tuesday we fly out from Heathrow. Um, so we were just going to come for the day here and then go and check into our Premier Lodge. But I got a pretty good deal with a uh, cabbie. Gold medal? No, that's where I work, but don't get coming. Uh, but yeah, got a pretty good deal with two day passes, a drinks cup, mm. which we've taken advantage of. Six refills so far. Seven, we've just done a seven. Um, and here at uh, the uh, cabins at Thorpe Park. Um, and you get one or two other extra benefits, but we'll tell you all about that in a minute. So check-in's three o'clock, um, we're a bit late checking in. So let's go and have a look. So as you walk down the ramp, this is the reception area. So we came here earlier to just to get the drinks mug because it was part of the package. And now we're here to check in. So we won't video inside because I don't like videoing the reception staff when they're doing the job. All right, let's go and check in and find out what cabin we've been given. Right, so we're all checked in. What cabin number are we? 254. 254. And what else have you got in there? Don't get them out, but show them me. So, so you get some bracelets so they don't kick you out of the bottom of the park. And we also get the two fast passes for the morning and a car park voucher. So that gives us 10 till 11 in the morning. Oops, zooming in. Uh, 10 till 11 in the morning, we get to go on any ride we want apart from Hyperia. So yeah, we're walking into the shark's mouth. And there is. There you go, I told you these loads of memorabilia. So it was only our first visit ever to Thorpe Park because we're northerners uh, last year. So a lot of this memorabilia doesn't mean anything to us, but these are all the old rides that they used to have here. Yeah, so these are the, all the old old ride signs. What's this one? Don't know. Canada Creek Railway. No, because like I say, my first ever visit was with you last year, mate. It's not Tell Park. Right, so, this used to be called a hotel. It's now called Cabins. Why is it called Cabins and it's not a hotel? Because? Because we're in Cabins. Because we're in shipping containers. So these have been getting mixed reviews. And um, there. But like I say, we got a pretty good deal. So we thought it was worth coming and staying. Right, which way round are we going to our cabin? What number did you say we was? Going. So two means second floor. So second floor. So where are we going up? Two five four. Two five four. Okay, we'll see you when we get up there. Can you see it? Two five four. Okay, so we've got an interior view. We haven't got there's no windows anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But some of these rooms are themed to Hyperia and some of the other rides. Louis wanted a saw room. Keep going. Next one. Oh. There we go, 254. Right, you're gonna do the do? I, do I will pause until Louis has done it. Right, he's got it. Right, go on then. Is he working? There you go. No, still not working. Wah, wah. He's finally got the door open. <laughs> Let's go. Let's have a look. Whoa. How big are these rooms? They're not. So, this room tour's not going to take too long, is it? Do you want to put some lights on while I show them the, uh, the bathroom? So, in here, we have the toilet, towels, and then the shower is actually, close the door loose. Come in, close it up. So it's a rainfall shower head. 
That's cool. So you can actually sit on the toilet and wash your feet. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we've got, what have we got here? We've got yeah. four mugs. We've got Belgium chocolate, hot chocolates for Lewis. Teas, coffees. Water, because he's not supposed to drink the water there. We have, we have a big bed over here, which is going to be my bed. I love the theming of that wall, so I'll tell you about some of the other rooms in a moment. It's very cold in here, we might have to turn the aircon down. And then we've got two bunks. This is my bed up here. Yeah, I think you're going to sleep up on the top bunk, aren't you? A few little mark scruffs on there. Um, but I think this is one of the older cabins, which is why we got such a good deal. So on this wall here, you've got the Island Like No Other logo. Whereas in some of the other cabins, so there's some new Hyperia themed cabins. And that's got a big Hyperia light and logo on it. And the whole room is themed to Hyperia. And you get Hyperia fast passes. So the Hyperia cabins at the moment currently um, were £50 a night more than these rooms. But you do get Hyperia Fast Passes and they're worth £20 each, so that's £40 value. So if you're going to buy the Fast Pass and you're going to stop in the cabin, you might as well get the upgrade to the Hyperia ones as well. Right, okay. It's comfy. Very. It's just a bit cold, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go and uh, back out, or I'm going to go back out and move the car and bring all our stuff in. So am I. And then we'll go and have a look around. The other couple of things should have said, the dome area, we'll show you this later actually, the dome area is open all night, when I say all night, most of the night, I don't know what time it closes, so maybe not three in the morning, but who knows. Uh, and then the park area downstairs, outside, and the area down by the beach area, but we'll go for a walk and we'll show you how far we can get. Um, so that'll be quite cool because it's been red hot today, if you watched the vlog from earlier you'll know, so it's going to be really nice to be able to sit down outside and watch the sunset. Um, over Hyperia. Uh. Right, okay, so I'll show you the front of the cabins from a different area. Very small, um, they do take a family of four. Not sure I'd want to come here with four, as in four adults, maybe a couple of kids you'd be all right with. Right, come on then, let's go and have a look outside and then I'm going to go and move the car. Uh. Right, so let's go and have a look around. So, one of the people that people do will complain is as you can hear and you can see plane so the cabins are on the flight path keep walking we'll go and show them down there the cabins are on the flight path for Heathrow Airport and they are literally shipping containers and they're not very well uh, soundproofed so I think you can pretty much hear everything that's uh, that's happening so here is an outside area pretty cool and I believe that's going to open later for pizza let's have a walk down here yeah, we're allowed everywhere mate let's have a work over here we brought our own food for tonight mate we've got the dome over there and we can see stealth over there and oh last is that about the last car of the night for look at that could be about the last one of the night because we're nearly seven o'clock. Well, let's have a potter down here. And this slide as well, Lewis, just here, behind you. Not it's not a slide, it's to put laundry and rubbish. What, chuck it out? Yeah, and then it goes down to the bottom. We put the basket underneath. This is an open at the moment. I don't know whether it's going to be open later on. But here are all the cabins. A short cabin. Wayfinding, that's where we've just been. Here's the downside cabins and we're up there. So the Hyperia ones actually have Hyperia view but again there's no windows in the cabin so Hyperia view is basically just through the porthole. Right we'll go and move the car and then uh, we'll go and have a look at uh, the dome area and uh, the outside area and we'll see how far we can get to when the park closes. So there's a Ben and Jerry's ice cream machine as another plane comes over where. Where, 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 where? 
Yeah. Is that part of the theme in you reckon? No. Yeah, I actually got bit of my shot. <laughs> Let's hope not. So there's the dome and everybody leaving the park. We're going the other way mate, back to the car park. Hyperia, just across from the cabins over there. So it feels weird walking this way when everybody's coming the other way. So the hotel hasn't got its own car park anymore, it used to have. So we've just moved the car down to the front. Um, and then obviously, very loud music, we brought the case in. It's got our change of clothes for tomorrow. So there is an own, its own check-in or its own security desk. They do a bag search. Um, they do let you bring your own food in, um, providing it's wrapped up. Um, you're allowed to bring a little bit of wine, a little bit of beer, um, but not too much. Um, I think it is limited to what you can bring in. We haven't brought any in, so it doesn't really matter for us. So we're going to head back, drop off the luggage at the cabin and then find a picnic table down by the dome outside and have some pizza for tea. So we'll see you down by the dome. Dome, which is by the entrance where we showed you. Vibes Bar and Kitchen, that's where we're going tomorrow for our breakfast. Let's just go over and show them the evening meal. So if you're staying here, you can buy uh, an evening meal. So here's the menu. And then we'll go over to this side and this is the lunch menu it's just closed evening menu open till 11 p.m and i believe there's also maybe a quiz in there tonight this is the evening menu and this is where we'll go for breakfast and lewis has got his refill cup so go show him where the refill thing is literally see it over there so just around here and that cup is valid until midnight tonight and there's just the one machine working and then we've got some cold pizza for our tea outside on the picnic tables oh Hyperia is still going there can't be anybody left park's closed now pizza in the sun so all this area stays open and they just close the path off up there I think but we'll have a wander around later on when it's closed off you been on the park, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Sun setting. Over swarm. As it goes round, I think they're putting the uh, trains back in the shed. They have to send them to put them back in overnight. Absolutely beautiful evening. How amazing the swarm look. And the park's nearly empty. Half past seven, it closed at seven. It's going to be weird being in here in a bit with nobody else. So I just thought I'd put one more shot of Swarm with the sun finally set behind it. Because it looks beautiful if you're a theme park fan. These metal monstrosities as most people would call them. Are stunning and there's Hyperia. The Colossus. Right, I'm going to go and have a look around in a minute and see how far we can go. Because now the park is totally empty apart from the uh, the hotel guests. And I think there's only a few of us. So we're going to go for a little walk and see how far we can get. Because it's totally emptied out now. It's about half past nine. Let's see how far we can walk. It is peaceful until the air aeroplanes come over. It's a weird sensation though being in a theme park. Hey, look at that plane. Weird sensation being in the theme park with nobody else in it. I mean, it is beautiful. Do you not think? Just strange being in a theme park with nobody else in it. And no rides yet. No rides yet. Well, although Colossus just went, didn't it, a minute ago. So yeah, as I said earlier, if you are staying in the cabins, just beware, there is a little bit of aeroplane noise. And there's Rush and Hyperia. Right, so this is about as far as you can get down here. There's a gate across. And then this is the beach. Right, we'll go and have a pot about the other way, see where else we can walk to. So coming back this way, that's as far as you can get. 
but I think the quiz is going on in the dome, so we'll go and have a quick look. I don't think we're going to stay in play, are we? No, I think Lewis has found a couple of friends who've just gone for food. Obviously, I'll get that, but obviously there's no more. It's currently now a massive, huge world record breaking coast of Cornwall. Uh-huh. In one deal. Okay, so this is Vibe and the quiz night's going on. 2013, yes. 2013 for the So the vibe. Come back into the dome. What do you reckon, Lewis? Rush. So yeah, so this is the quiz. Yeah, Rush. So there's not too much going on in the evening, like I say, just the quiz and then the arcade and most of the things are closed for the evening. You're dancing with your head, Lewis. <laughs> right, let's see how far we can get the other way. So there's the dome and coming this way, it's as far as you can go by depth charge. So even if there isn't a load of entertainment going on, they can still find something to do. Right, I'm going to head back for the night. So it still feels really bizarre walking back to the cabins at night. With the theme park being empty. Still beautiful. Gotta love a bit of neon. Probably the least impressive shot of the cabins. Good morning, Lewis. How did you sleep up there? Good. Yeah, it was all right. It was quite comfy night. Mattresses are a little bit hard. I've had a shower this morning and as you can see, the water does leak out of the shower and there was a little bit of condensation going down there. But then they are cabins, so what do you expect? Right, we're going to go and get changed and then we're going to go into the dome for the breakfast. Are you looking forward to breakfast? Yeah. It's a full buffet breakfast, so eat as much as you want. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so breakfast is in the vibe where we showed you. Lewis has gone for some cereal. Look at this for a breakfast with a view. Straight out into the park. How amazing is that? Like we said last night, it's weird, isn't it? Been not many people here. Right, we'll show you the breakfast buffet. So it's a hot breakfast buffet. So we'll start around here. So you've got your yogurts, melon, blueberry muffins, all your plates, and then all your hot stuff. So your hash browns, bacon, pork sausage, veggie sausage, mushrooms, scrambled egg, beans, lot pudding, tomato, more scrambled egg, more beans, and then round here you've got the pan of chocolate, mini croissants, American pancakes and waffles, your golden syrup to add, no maple syrup, not in America, milks, all your cereals which Lewis has already dived into and then over here is your tea and coffee stations hot water to make teas your coffees and then we got some juices over there and some amazing stuff morning guys <laughs> so this is where we was last night and then over here you've got your white bread for your toast so you make your own toast so yeah look good we'll go back over to Lewis is it good? Right, we'll get a plateful and see how we get on. Is that good? Yeah. Looks lovely. And it's going to be a very, 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 very hot day out there. So how was your breakfast, Lewis? Good. Yeah? Well, the only, only slight negatives, oh, I've got my hat here, shirt on today. The only slight negatives was there was no chocolate sauce for the pancakes, was there? Sausages were a bit cheap as well, a bit cheap and rubbery. Could have done with an egg station. But for a buffet breakfast, that was fantastic. Set me up for the day. Right, let's go and do an outro and then we'll go in 
heading into the park for the hottest day of the year. So I'm glad we got the refillable mugs part of the deal because it's going to be hot, hot, hot. Right, so that's our stay at the short cabins here at Thorpe Park done. How was your stay, mate? You met some friends last night to play with and we just had a fab brekkie. So yeah, we're just saying then, we're just discussing here breakfast. I think this was a really good value. Um, so we paid £220 for the two of us for one night. Well, that included your entry to the park, which must be about £70, £80. It included fast pass this morning, which we're going to use, which must be another tenner each. So we're up to about £100. Car parking for two days, that's about another £20. Your breakfast, £10 each at least, that's about £140. Uh, your mug, that's another £20, that's £160. So if you take that off the 220 we pay, that means you're only paying about £70 or £80 for the cabin, aren't you? Yeah. Yep, so that's really good value. So yeah, highly recommend. It's going to be a Scorchio day today. So what do we say now then? Until we stay again later? Sharky later. Sharky later. <laughs> From the cabins at Thorpe Park.